Hello, my friends. Sorry about that. I believe we're okay. And I've got it, the camera set back up. Just doing a quick um, mic check. Sorry about that, Patty. Hello, I see you are on live. It looks like it's going to uh, section it out. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm so sorry. Welcome to Cards by TLC. My name is Tammy Savello. And I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. So if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you are new and have not yet subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to all. So, if you, so you don't miss anything of my future videos or lives. Today is Thursday, March 16th, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we are streaming here right here live on YouTube. If you are catching me on the replay, go ahead and skip forward for a minute or so while I say hello to everyone and put that in the comments, hashtag replay. Hello, Patty. Um, just doing a quick mic check and sound check and making sure everything is okay. Um, but we are going to go forward. Today's projects, if you are, I, I might be warning you, might be complete cuteness overload. Um, just want to make sure that before I quickly get started, I just want to do a quick sound check and make sure I'm a-okay. Can you guys hear me and um, do I sound okay? I just want to make sure we are good to go. Yep, we're all great. Perfect. Well, we are going to get officially started with this cuteness overload. At least I think so anyways. But um, these projects might be on the top of my favorite projects. We are taking a little bit of a break from the mini catalog today with the exception of a couple of items, but our main focus is going to be the annual catalog and we are going to be using the cute elephant parade bundle and this is bundled as a 10% uh, discount. So this is a great opportunity to um, get that together. Hello, John. Welcome. So, like I said, this can be found on page 48 in the annual ad, um, annual catalog. We are also going to be playing with the picture this dies. And that is these dies. These are fantastic. This is the um, die that we're going to be using on today's project. Um, and... Uh, the Hues of Happiness Designer Paper, which is on low inventory. So this beautiful paper, really quick, let me just grab that. This beautiful paper we are going to play with today um, on um, a couple of, or maybe one or two of the projects, but this is on low inventory. So I would definitely go and get to my online store and grab that today because I'm not sure since we are so close to the end of the annual catalog retiring, I'm not sure if they're going to bring this back for a short period of time. So let's get that before that officially retires. And there's so many amazing prints and this is probably one of my favorite designer papers out of the annual catalog. But let's go ahead and get started. We are also playing with the alphabet dies. And these are called the alphabet a la mode. And those are actually in the um, mini catalog. And that could be found on page 61. These are fantastic for scrapbook pages or personalizing any of your projects. But these letters are so fantastic. And another thing that you might wanna have in 
to grab in my online store are the self-adhesive sheets. If you are using these letters, I definitely, definitely would recommend using the adhesive sheets um, because that will make life a lot easier. Unless you have a fine tip, glue pen, and patience, I definitely would pair these two up. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me just quickly show you the dies with the um, bundle. Cute, cute, cuteness. I mean, obsessed with the cuteness of this. Um, great for baby cards. Great for just a friendship card or kids cards or what have you. But it comes with um, dies that cut out each of these images and it has great sentiments. And then in addition to cutting out these um, images, it has cute little grass and maybe some bows for maybe putting a bow tie on either the balloon or around the neck of your elephant. But it cuts out the, my, the cute little mouse, the butterfly, but we are playing with all of this today. So let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and let us move forward on the projects. Our first project is a baby card and we are obsessed. Like, like I can't, I like when I show you and tell you that I squealed pretty much on each project, I squealed on pretty much of the cuteness of each project, but this is a fun baby card. And also with this, I am using the Kane 3D embossing folder. I love this um, layer because it looks like a quilted knitted blanket. So I thought it was perfect for our project today. Um, again, all of our sizes, as always, will all, all of our sizes and dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow at cardsbytlc.com. So tomorrow, Friday, March 17th, all of the sizes will be on there. But I have already pre-cut, pre-colored, just to save time. And of course, I always say with the magic of TV, so... You don't need to watch me color the elephants and all of that. So that will definitely save us time. And when you see some of these projects, you'll understand why. But let's go ahead and get started on the pieces for project number one. Um, we have a standard card base, five and a half by eight and a half, um, folded at the four and a quarter mark. And then we have a... Um, four by five and a quarter inch um, sheet of um, cardstock for the outside layer. And then we have a four by five and a quarter uh, sheet piece for the inside piece. And then I do have a strip from the designer paper is the Settles um, designer paper, six by six um color family and that is in mint macaron as well these two pieces are mint macaron i thought it's a nice soft um non-gender baby reveal and then we have our um, layering circle dies so we have our i believe it is the second largest scallop layering circle die and then the third largest regular circle die and then um, I used the Hues of Happiness. Let me show you the um, piece. It's the opposite side of this, but I thought this green makes great shrub pieces. So we cut out some shrub pieces for, our, for him to sit in the grass. And then, um, like I said, we have our pieces to spell out baby. And I've already pre-cut, pre-colored all of that. Um, the colors for our elephant, I used the um, Smoky Slate combination packet of our blends. And then I used the Light um, Flirty Flamingo blend to create our little elephant today. So let's go ahead and get going on putting this together. And like I said, I have already pre-cut everything out for you to make things a lot easier. 
maybe the bow is for the head. Oh, it could be for, um, to put, make it a little girl elephant. That makes sense, Marcy. Okay, let's go ahead and get our bone folder and crease our edges here. And then, like I said, I love this. The, this is probably my favorite embossing folder out of the mini catalog. And I think it looks just like a knitted um, baby blanket. Come in. Hello, John. Welcome in. Sorry if I missed you. I didn't um, see any other people join us, but hello officially. Welcome. Okay. And there we go. And then this piece is cut at, um, this piece is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And like I said, this is part of our six by six Settles family um, paper. And this is also on low inventory. So again, run on those low inventory items. I don't know when they'll be back in stock. Or if, I know the settles probably will be, but the hues of happiness, I'm not 100% sure if that will be back. But it could very well be. Okay, and then I have the layered. I must have cut that piece just a little bit short, but that's okay. It is supposed to go to the edges, and I think what happened was is I did not cut this piece because as you can see, this piece right here does go to the edge. It's supposed to leave a little bit of a border, so I don't think I cut this down to five and a quarter. So that I think that's what happened. But this piece is two by five and a quarter, I believe it is. Let's just double check our measurements. Yep, this piece is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. So um, this piece I just did not trim down, but we're not gonna remove that. We're just gonna go forward with it and make it work and then these, I've already pre-cut um, these out, and these peel off just like a nice sticker. Like I said, this will save you a lot of agony, agonizing time and energy. And we are going to spell out baby. And these, like I said, are perfect for any personalization. In fact, my nephew on my husband's side turned six today. So I'm going to be making him a um, personalized card probably after the live. But he's going to be sick or he is six today. I cannot believe he's six. They grow up so fast. Do we usually get new patterns on the color you are absolutely right marcy i believe we usually do get new patterns um typically that is so that might that particular pattern might be going away so again if you have your favorite designer papers get them now before the catalog officially retires in may let's go ahead and Peel that off. I'm kind of eyeballing this and I think I'm doing a pretty okay job. Another th way you might want to do is maybe put a ruler down and lay that out, but I think I did an okay job. So let's go ahead and glue down our layering circle piece. And then I have a fine tip glue for um, these pieces of shrubs because they're a little bit more fine. And I just got these off of Amazon. They're a great little uh, fine tip applicator. And I did add a little bit of water mixed with this so it doesn't get so thick in there. So that's why it's a little runny, but we are going to make that work. 
and I just kind of, I have five of these little shrubs that I'm just kind of building a little scene with and putting that down so it looks like he's in the jungle. And they're fun to just kind of build up a little grass scene. You're absolutely right. It does sound like it's way off, but things sell out extremely fast. And in fact, our in color ink pads, our outgoing retiring um, ink pads have already bit hit low inventory and the retire list has not even officially gone out. So again, if you see something that you like on my online store, please grab it now because I don't know how long it's going to be. Things go extremely quickly. And people stock up and um, in fact, we have, I don't know if I made the announcement, but we are um, going to be having a color refresh and I will know more information on March 29th as to what colors um, might be going away. So if you have a favorite color, get it now because I don't know what colors are going to be on the refresh. I will know more information. I will have more information on March 29th. So come back to, um, if you don't follow me on social media, it's Cards by TLC on all platforms. I will have that. And if you have not yet um, signed up for my customer newsletter, go to cardsbytlc.com and off to the right hand sign, it says um, subscribe to my newsletter. Subscribe to that and you will be informed as to what colors um, are going to be retiring. That is where I inform all of my customers with all sales and any special um things. So if you have not yet subscribed to that, please do so. Adhesive sheets would work great on grass as well. Absolutely. I think I didn't think that um, out as much, but yeah, they are thin enough to where you definitely, anytime you have a thin element, you definitely want to use these adhesive sheets. Go and then I have my inside piece, and the inside piece says "sweet little one," and this is again four by five and a quarter, and I have a half inch strip by five and a quarter inch piece of the designer paper to match the front and we have sweet little one and we're going to just stamp it in our memento tuxedo black ink sweet little one get this out of the way and then we are going to bring in our piece, our, our rhinestone basic jewels and finish off this card. Adhesive sheets are my new best friend, Marcy. I never remembered how to use them either until recently when I needed to use them on Items I certainly didn't feel like gluing down. Okay, and then we have our rhinestones. And we will finish off this card for our first cute card. I don't have any more of the bigger ones, so we'll just use this size. That. 
and then two smaller ones for the top and there we have it there is card number one i can't wait for you to see the next cards so these are so cute are you ready for to for cuteness number two we're going to um, continue on with our letters and so card number two here we go and I, first I was putting the S down and I knew I wanted to do this cute little mouse. Um, but I thought it was more fun that he was holding the S and kind of putting it in place. So here is card number two. We are going to be doing some blending with our blending brush. And this is in Balmy Blue. And then our elephant again is... Um, our elephant again is in the um, smoky slate and then light flirty flamingo for his ears. And I just realized I did not give her or him little cheekbones. Um, and then our butterfly is colored in Tahitian Tide. And our lettuce leaf is a combination of dark granny apple green and light parakeet party. And then I have um, our balloon and poppy parade. And as you can see, it's kind of light in, in the middle here. I took our color lifter and made it look more like a traditional balloon where you have the um, shadows. So, and then of course our little... Um, we will be coloring our little mouse because I did stamp directly on that. But let's go ahead and get started. And then our card base is in Poppy Parade. And our letters are in Poppy Parade. And then the inside is just stamped in basic black that says Friends Forever. These have cute little sentiments that, again, you can use for a friendship card or whatever you want to do so. So we are going to bring in a piece of scrap here that we can do some blending on. And then I have our blending brush and then our color is in balmy blue for the sky. Thank you, I'm glad you guys are loving this. So we are going to start off by building up the sky and then I did a little bit darker around the edges here just so it looks more like a sky it looks more like vibrant and stuff like that for the sky but this is definitely build up with the blending brushes I love blending I can blend all day long it's very therapeutic and I thought it would just be rather than keeping it all white just adding some color and contrast to our card and the key is to kind of build up you can always Add color, but you can't take color off, as my friend Patty always says. I learned practice definitely makes perfect. You definitely want a light hand and just build up. You definitely don't want to, to avoid those harsh swirl marks. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side. And then we're gonna come in and stamp our little mouse. Let's get this out of the way. And then we're gonna come in and stamp our little mouse in our Memento Black Ink. And you could also um, stamp him um, separately and just add the die cut, but I'm just gonna kind of come in at an angle with him. And then I used light smoky slate for his ears and his belly and his body. 
And then I used Light Flirty Flamingo. for his top part of his tummy. And then I brought in the color lifter and just kind of blended out. So I just did his belly kind of like that. And then I came in with the color lifter and just kind of softened that up a little bit and blended it out. There we go. And so we are going to come in with our pieces again and build up our cute card. Everything else is already cut out. Let's get this out of the way. And we have all of our bits and pieces in my handy dandy little container. So let's get my letters here and we will There we go. Okay. Start with our F and I've already pre kind of pulled some of the backing on. At least I thought that one was off. There we go. Sometimes you have to just be a little patient on taking the backing off of these letters. Looks like I came right about there. And then here's my R. Like I said, these make great friendship cards or baby cards. I am definitely in the need of baby cards. So um, I am going to be using this set this weekend to play with some more. I loved the way that baby card turned out. And... I think the longest part of making these cards is die cutting everything, stamping and die cutting and getting everything out. But other than that, it comes together pretty quickly. Oops. Here we go. And they do maneuver a little bit, so it allows you to play with it a little bit better, so it lines up. D. And then make him hold our S at an angle. I just thought it was really kind of cute to add that. There we go. And then we have our elephant walking across. And I think what I did was... I glued that down for the um, balloon down first. That looks about right, about there. There we go. And 
And this would make a great happy birthday card. Um, the balloon and the elephant makes a great birthday card. And I think we have a sentiment in the catalog right now that says something along the lines like, I didn't forget your birthday, I just extended it. And I thought that that would be a cute stamp set to pair that up with. I think that's in the mini catalog. So that, that would be kind of a fun stamp set to pair that up with. There we go. And then we have our card base that is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And I have it fold, instead of a top fold, I have it a side fold. that as you can see these are coming together really quickly and I believe I have friends forever on this one let's put this off to the side and you can either stamp this in the poppy parade color I just thought I would make it a, and I just smudged so thank goodness for another side because I had ink on my finger so let us come in with the friends forever. Perfect. Okay. Thank goodness for other sides, especially with white. <laughs> and I did not put any um, embellishments on this one. I didn't think it needed it. So there we have it, card number two. Cute, right? Okay, I saved, in my personal opinion, the best for last. And this has, it looks a little overwhelming, but like I said, the um, part that took the most was cutting out all the bits and pieces of it but we are using the um the uh picture this dies <laughs> and here we go so the picture this dies is the perfect circles for our elephants and then it, on the smaller ones it has really small details like the butterfly and the flower and um, I'm finishing it off with the glossy dots. These are fun, bright, bold colors, and I thought the blue matched the blue in the background. Now, as I said, we were using the Hues of Happiness paper, and I've pre-cut this at four by five and a quarter. And um, it, in my opinion, looks like kind of like a sky already, so it's kind of already done the artwork for you. So I have that, and then we have our um, hues of happy, or I'm sorry, our uh, picture this dies, cut at the same size, and then we're gonna pop this up with Stampin' Dimensionals, so um, it makes a perfect little scenery. Let's see here. Sometimes I wish I could do this with my... <laughs> say Marcy and then Patty said that would be cute with some um with a cute kid's name too absolutely 100% that I might probably maybe do that for Austin's um card so that would make great but it's, we have our little um elephants again cut ahead of time and um in smoky slate with the flirty flamingo our balloon again is in Tahitian tide and then our butterfly again is in Tahitian Tide. And then we have our mouse. That's the same color as our elephant. And then I used soft, light soft suede for our peanuts. And 
um, poppy parade and a parakeet party for our little flower. So let us go ahead and get our card base and I'm going to um, do the inside first and we are going to stamp with Tahitian Tide what a happy day and then using our little strip of designer paper again half of an inch by four is our piece of choice for the inside. It is such a great um, background paper and it makes the guesswork a lot easier. Yeah, you could blend it, you could blend out the scenery, but um, it certainly makes the perfect background. I kind of wish we had a whole packet of just that color um, design. I did not um, grab my balloon for the inside, so we're just gonna go ahead and still do what a happy day. And then I'll stamp my balloon um, after the live. I just don't want to bring you crashing down. And it's over on my other craft table. So there is the inside. Our card base is basic gray, four and a quarter by 11, um, folded at five and a half. So let's put this piece in first and then we will work on the front of our card. I totally, can you see that? I totally made it at an angle. Well, we know that this is a homemade card. This is what happens when I my fingers start going a little bit faster than my brain. <laughs> okay, so what I have done is I've, I don't know if you can kind of see that, it is kind of a, um, popped up on dimensions. So let's go ahead and place this piece down first. And then we will pop those other pieces up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And And then I'm just going to go in these white spaces here and add our dimensions to pop this up. There we go. Maybe one more there, one more there, and one more here for good measure. I think I can peel these off just quickly. I don't think my hands are as cold today. Sometimes my fingers don't want to peel the backings of these off and this is where my take your pick tool is going to come into play. And then just pull these off like so. Okay, work with me. Don't make me a liar. There we go. I believe I've got all the pieces off. Okay. And then line again, I have this cut at four by five and a quarter, the same size as our piece. And then we will come in and I think I'm going to use some glue dots on, I believe I used glue dots on the butterfly and the flower and the peanuts to make it easier. And I just put them inside our little hole. Since that piece does not lift up, it doesn't matter if it's perfect on the inside or partially on the inside, partially on the outside. And 
And then our little elephants, I did um, put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back to kind of make him, to pop the middle of him up and have his ears kind of and his, the rest of his body be on the outside. So that is a tip. You want to put a, one Stampin' Dimensional in the middle so it kind of raises him up a little bit. Or her. It is not a perpendicular patty card, Patty. You are 100% right. It is a Tammy card, and that's how it always is. <laughs> you know me. I've got to mix it up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and glue our little peanuts. Just add a little bit of glue to the back of that. I love that they have dies that cut out all of these little images. It makes things so fun to build scenes and add some extra fun to your cards. There we go. And then our elephant. our mousy. I think what I did was is I popped the mouse up first and then I glued down the elephant onto the cardstock. And I may have tucked the mouse. I actually may have trimmed his body off just a little bit or the balloon string off just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's what I did. You make it whatever you want to make it. And then we are just kind of lift that up just a little bit. There we go. Then we're going to bring in our glossy dots and finish that card up. And we have three adorable cards, in my opinion. I had a lot of fun designing these. Okay, well, you're not gonna come off, so we're just gonna peel you up with our fingers. I'm excited to find out what your favorite is out of them. Okay. There we go. There is our third and final card for today. I would love for you, especially if you're watching the replay, comment what your favorite card is of them. And I know my personal favorite, oh God, that was hard to, that's hard to define. I think my personal favorite, oh, you know, I can't choose. Sorry. I love them all. I cannot choose. Patty, of course, is your favorite is the Friends card because it's in your favorite color, Poppy Parade. Um, I would love to hear what people are saying. I would love to know what your favorite card is. Pop it in the comment section. And if you are catching me on the replay, put it in the comment section on the replay. But I cannot decide. I think they're all fun and cute in their own way.
Well, if you enjoyed today's projects, I would love for you to make sure that you do click that like button on my video. It does help me grow my channel. And if you know anyone that would love to watch my weekly lives, please be sure to share my channel with them. This helps me so much. I do have a personal goal to reach by the end of the year to 1,000 subscribers. I would love for your help on this. I'm currently at 243. We're almost a quarter way there. But by the end of the year, I would love to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. So if you could share your um, my channel or whatever with your friends and loved ones, I would appreciate that um, subscribe button. Um, again, all the sizes and dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow at cardsbytlc.com tomorrow, Friday, March 17th. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my blog or my newsletter, please do that as well. Like I said, I will be sending out some news information at the end of the month about the color refresh. Again, thank you all for joining me each and every week. I hope you join me next Thursday. And in the meantime, I hope you all have a wonderful day and the rest of your week and a great weekend. But thanks for stopping by today and enjoying this cuteness. Bye, everyone.